Julie here from RV Tips and Bits. How is everybody today? Um, I'm just doing a quick video on all the different things that we've done for, for our motorhome in the last couple of years. Um, I have a, various videos out there on installation and ideas and I thought I'd bring them all together with one with additional items as well that we've done to improve uh, how we camp and make things easier and safer. Um, so I hope you enjoy it. Um, again, every one of the items for the most part has an individual video about it on my channel and you're welcome to subscribe and uh, see more details. All right, have a great day and happy camping. So first item up is our upgraded inverter. It came with a thousand watt inverter. We upgraded to 2000 watt and then we had all the plugs, all the appliances go through the inverter. So if we were dry camping, we can use anything that we want without having to worry about being plugged in. Xantrax has done us well. We've had no problems with it. We did have to get some upgraded cables because our uh, inverter was 13 feet from the batteries. You want your inverter to be as close to the batteries as possible. Um, and then you may not need the upgraded cables if you're closer. We also added the solar. So we went with Go Power. We have three panels of 190 watts each on top of our roof. And this has also done us very well with no issues, easy to run. The next thing that we have is the Jackery. This is a great portable power station a uh, lithium battery that you can use for USB connections, um, regular 110 volt connections, 12 volt connections. Um, it holds up really well, especially if you're dry camping and you don't want to put the uh, pressure on your batteries uh, for charging things up. It's great to have on the side. So I definitely recommend it. It's well worth the money. Also, this 240 watt one is small. It's like the size of a lunch bucket. Um, that you would take to work. So it's very convenient and easy to have around and very light to store away. Also, if you go through the link below, um, you'll see on Amazon through the link that there's $100 off. So really a good deal. These brackets are one of the most popular um, items that I think that we've done that everybody comments on. Um, you can easily add extra counter space to anywhere in your motor home. We did it over our microwave so it actually folds down over the microwave and it's uh, using the same screws. I have a complete video on that. Um, just use your own cutting board. You get the brackets here on the link below and it's just click. They're very sturdy. They stay in place. You click again and they fold down. Uh, they come in two sizes, 8 inch and 12 inch, so uh, yeah, definitely ha have some fun uh, putting in your own extra countertop there. The next item are pull out shelves. These are awesome because when you pull them out, they slide out really easily, and then when you push them in, they click in so that they stay in there sturdy. Um, you want to check your measurements, but these have worked out really well for under our cabinets. Okay, who doesn't love coffee? I have been through a couple different uh, French presses. Best thing to use, especially if you're dry camping, no electricity, um, you just have to boil your water, you pour it in uh, this coffee pot with your uh, coffee grounds, you let it sit for four minutes, and voila, you have coffee that's insulated and stays hot. This is a 50 ounce um, coffee pot and it do you well all morning with to have coffee ready and hot for you. Again with the theme of dry camping and maybe you don't have full hookup so you have to be conservative on your gray water. This is a collapsible bowl that fits perfectly in the sink so whenever you're doing dishes or running water you can let the water run into the bowl and then you can discard it um, outside without having to have it go down into your tank. Works out really well. This little gadget here actually fits over that bowl and also fits over your sink so that you can have a strainer without your food going down the drain as well. So this is another nice addition with that bowl. All, both of them are collapsible. Everything's about efficiency and we go through a lot of cans, sparkling waters, and so we actually have a can crusher inside our motorhome and it really helps with the trash and um, collecting recycles. Where to put those paper towels and maybe a little shelf for your sponges. Uh, we actually ordered this and it goes right above our sink um, attached to the valence. So you'd be surprised at the areas that you can find to attach these type of things. I have a whole video on this process right here. I have two of these baskets and you see that loop, the wire loop. I actually used a closet rod that you hang your clothes on 
and I stretched that across and mounted it to the walls and I hang those over that and it's great storage for our books, our glasses, our remotes. They slide so you can move them out of the way. Another great idea are the shoe organizers um, that you can hang usually somewhere along uh, the front part of the cab and you not only can put your shoes in it but you can put your remotes in it, you can put your baggies in it for outside, you can put all kinds of things in it um, to keep stored by the door. So we really have found that to be helpful. Okay, who's tired of having their sheets uh, come off their bed all the time in, in their uh, motorhome or trailer? Um, so the real popular ones that are out there are called the Betty sheets, um, but they're a little expensive and they don't quite fit um, for what we have, so, you know, real snug. I found these other ones called the uh, Zip sheets and they have seemed to work out really well, so, um, and they're a lot less expensive. Um, so give these a try, do your measurements. Um, they come in a lot more options for uh, sizes of beds as well. Worried about your black tank filling up uh, too quickly before you can go dump during dry camping or getting clogged with tissues uh, ruining your uh, gauges to measure how full it is. Um, go ahead and install one of these tissue dispensers. So once you, uh, instead of putting the tissue down the black tank, put it in here and you'd be amazed how much uh, volume you save. I know it sounds kind of like uh, iffy, but it definitely works and I highly recommend it if you're worried about black tanks filling up. Okay, another great option here is uh, when you're at home, you download on your phone, um, movie, shows, YouTube, whatever that you watch. And then what you can do is get an HDMI cable and you plug that into the back of this adapter and you plug it into the phone and the other end of the HDMI cable into your TV in your motorhome or trailer and boom, you've got everything that's on your phone playing on your TV. Uh, so it's really been convenient for us, especially when we go on trips and want to download some movies or whatever and then we can just uh, hook it up and watch it while we're camping. How about all those multiple keys? Hmm, which one goes to which lock? Which one goes to which hitch? Uh, we came up with a way with these rhinestone um, stickers that you put one color on the key and then put the same color on the corresponding lock. And that way you always know which one is going to which one. It has worked out really well for us. Here we have a bike rack that um, is actually RV approved. Many bike racks, most people don't realize, are not RV rated. There's a lot of bounce back there and um, they have to be reinforced in order to actually be safe and approved. This one is approved and it allows for two 70 pound uh, electric bikes or regular bikes and it um, has a handle and is very um, uh, easy to get to fold up and store um, weighs a total of 40 pounds so not too bad to pick up and um, uh, put away if you're not going to use it. Another option for carrying um, extra gear is the cargo trailer. This one we found was absolutely the best. It is only 25 pounds, actually less than 25 pounds easy to maneuver, it's very solid, it's aluminum, carries up to 500 pounds, and it's not so bulky and heavy like a lot of those inexpensive ones are. You do pay a little bit more for this one, but it's definitely well worth it. This is the Bouge RV cargo container. It fits perfectly in the cargo carrier by Kurt, and it's really a uh, solid, um, heavy material, kind of like a rubber-like. Um, so it's, it's uh, something that really will last for a long time. I actually use PVC um, to frame it out and I have a whole video on that that you can watch. It works pretty cool and it stores up real small so when you're not using it. These are great straps that I found that I use for the uh, electric bikes as well as the cargo container. They're not um, super big and bulky. Um, but they're quite strong and they also come with some extra bungee cords. It's very difficult to find um, hitch pins that have uh, the same key. I have found those, so here's two that come with key alike. Um, a lot of times I like to be really efficient and have my hitch pin already with the item that I'm going to be towing and to have to have multiple keys and to figure out which hitch pin I had used for which one. 
um, this came in very handy. And like I said, they're hard to find, but this was one uh, that I did find. And if you don't already use a hitch stabilizer, I definitely would. This uh, connects right on top of your, your hitch and whatever you're pulling and stops any kind of movement or bouncing that takes place. Um, it really works well. So if you're not using one, I definitely recommend that you, you use these. They're very inexpensive. This here is a seven pin um, tester and it's great to have just to make sure that your uh, hookup is all ready to go and there's no issue with the wiring. Um, so not too much on that, but it's, it's definitely a, a, like a $7 product that's nice to have for safety. A lot of people spend a lot of money on these surge protectors, which uh, was totally fine, but we just use a simple one. It's a protector as well as telling you whether or not the place that you're plugging into is wired correctly. Um, spend $30, $40 versus $200. Uh, but it, again, it's all based on your needs, but this is the one that we use. So if you have a Mercedes Sprinter, they have the USB connection up at the front, but they're not regular USB, they're micro USB. So these are the adapters that we use to plug in our iPhones. One of my favorite upgrades is this TST tire monitoring kit. Um, I'm always worried about whether or not the inner tires, the outer tires are, are low. And although the um, motorhomes do have probably an alert for a low tire, um, you never know when that's going to come up. And it's kind of nice to know if you're even getting close, as well as the heat of the tire. Um, these have worked so well, and they're easy to do. I wouldn't get the flow-through ones. Um, I've heard that they've had problems sometimes with uh, the air coming out. And uh, so these are the regular ones, and they uh, really bring a, a lot of peace of mind to what we're when we're on our trips or if we're towing um, a Jeep, we can also add it to them as well. Another one of my favorite ones is this tire compressor. Um, it's very convenient, very uh, easy to store. Uh, you keep it charged and you can uh, inflate a tire up to 120 PSI. It's worked really well, very handy. I have one in all our vehicles. Um, I have a, a video on it as well as you can see how it works, but it's pretty simple. Here's the eight-man dashboard uh, cam, and I haven't had one until recently, and I did a lot of research on the reviews. This is pretty impressive. Uh, just sits right there on your dash, plugs into your 12-volt cigarette lighter, and whenever you turn your car on or your motorhome vehicle, um, it comes on, and it keeps looping itself every three minutes as far as uh, over-recording. Um, but what a safety thing to have if something goes on on the road and you've got uh, the video of it. Definitely recommend it. You do have to buy the 32 gigabyte uh, micro trip separately. I would get the 8-man one uh, and you know it's compatible. I'll have that down below as well. So on the Blackwater, um, the hose, we added the uh, hose carrier by Valterra. And um, you just have to be creative on how you hook it up under your motorhome or trailer. Um, we didn't add any additional holes, used straps, and was able to use existing um, areas under there to secure it. But they're definitely handy, and, and instead of having to put it in your cabinets, um, it makes it a much nicer option. Also, it's nice to find out what is actually in your uh, sewer lines or your gray water lines before you open them. Um, I actually found a clear cap that you can put on, and that way you'll see if there's any leakage or water that might be in there or sewer. And also, when you're doing the draining um, and you hook up your hose, these are so handy is to have the clear ones attached as well. Um, you, I hook it to the beginning part, and that way I can tell, um, you know, when my water's clear, when I'm ready to go, and I've got everything out. Check your setup because some uh, may require an angled one in order for you to uh, uh, have it in there straight. So they do come in two types, either straight or angled. Finally, fire safety. Boy, these are handy to have. I mean, you always are in fear of something that's happening um, inside your trailer or motorhome with a fire of any kind and how quick you have to react. I mean, to, just to have another security um, of safety. Um, these are easy. You just, you know, put them in various places and um, at least you have a peace of mind if something were to happen. And finally, do yourself a favor. Have a lockbox uh, put on the outside 
of your motorhome somewhere with your key. Um, it's just definitely a convenient and safety thing. Someday, at some point, somebody will misplace the key and you'll be glad you did. Hello, well, that's it. Uh, that wraps up uh, everything that I'm going to include in this video. It does not cover everything that we've done. Um, motorhomes and camping, dry camping, um, efficiency, improvement, safety. Um, there's so much to cover um, and it's so fun to keep doing. Um, you never run out of a to-do list. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, do the same to yours. Uh, make it your motorhome. Make it an investment that uh, you want to keep and, and keep personalizing it to work for you. Um, okay, uh, subscribe to my channel. You'll see a lot more coming up. Uh, continue to learn more about the Mercedes Sprinter and the fuses and the different gadgets that they have on there. Uh, unfortunately, dealerships don't actually cover a lot when they sell you a motorhome um, as well as even the uh, chassis. So take care, happy camping, and see you soon.